How to replace the thermal paste on your laptop. Today, let's replace the thermal paste on the Acer Nitro 5AN51557 laptop as our followers have requested. Get ready to revitalize your laptop by reducing your CPU's temperature by 43 degrees Celsius in just 6 easy steps. Step 1, get tools ready. Many tools are needed to replace the laptop's thermal paste. Apart from the thermal paste and thermal paste cleaning wipes, some gadgets can help you to disassemble the laptop much more easily. If you don't want to buy them separately, you can find our total solution combo in our profile. Step 2, remove the laptop case and battery. Flip your laptop over and use a PH0 bit to remove all the screws on the bottom cover, 11 screws in total. Use a magnetic mat to avoid confusion about the different sizes of screws. Use a spudger to align with the corner of the casing. This way, you can easily pry open the bottom cover. Then, you can lift the bottom plate to open the cover. After opening the cover, use a spudger to unplug the power cord, and then press the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. To eliminate static electricity, it is strongly recommended to wash your hands or wear gloves before disassembling the computer. Step 3, remove the heatsink and old thermal paste. Get your spudger ready to remove the right fan's power cord. You can use the spudger to wiggle the connector back and forth to make it easier to remove. Next, use the spudger in the same manner to disconnect the screen's connector. Move over to the left fan and use the spudger in the same way to disconnect it. Peel off the adhesive tape from the network card and disconnect the wires. Use the same PH0 bit to remove the right fan. There are two screws on the right fan and two screws on the left fan. Next, move on to the central heat sink and remove the seven screws in a diagonal pattern to avoid uneven forces. Choose a high quality PH0 bit. And when unscrewing, ensure the screwdriver is perpendicular to the horizontal surface and apply pressure to avoid stripping the screws. Next, move on to the fans on both sides. Peel off the adhesive tape for easier removal of the heat sink later. If you're having trouble removing the heat sink, you might want to try loosening the middle screws with a screwdriver. While removing the wires from both sides, make sure to thread the wires through the heat sink. For a more efficient cleanup of the old thermal paste, we recommend using Cooling Monster KLEAN01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. If you're worried about getting your hands dirty, you can wear the disposable gloves included in our set. As you can see, the thermal paste on the processor has dried up after several years of use, decreasing its cooling efficiency. Take note that the chips around the CPU and GPU are using pink thermal pads. These chips generate less heat, so the original pads are still effective for cooling. If the pink pads still have elasticity, it means they haven't degraded and you can choose not to replace the thermal paste. If you decide to replace the thermal paste, we recommend purchasing the larger 2.1mm Cooling Monster KOLD01 Thermal Paste, along with the standalone KLEAN01 Thermal Paste Cleaning Wipes. Step 4. Clean the fan. Use the PH000 bit and sequentially remove the four screws from the right fan, and then the four from the left fan. Now, you can fully open up the fans. Get ready to use an anti-static brush to dust off the surface and the fan blades. You could also use compressed air to get into the nitty-gritty details. Just remember, when using compressed air, keep a little distance to avoid any liquid from spraying out. Next, sequentially reassemble the fans on both sides and screw them back in. And there you have it, your heat sink is dusted clean. Step 5, apply thermal paste. Apply some high performance thermal paste onto the CPU and GPU. Here, we used Cooling Monster KOLD01 thermal paste. You can use the spatula to evenly spread out the thermal paste and remove the excess. You can also use the pea size method if you like. It's important to note that you don't necessarily need to replace the thermal paste around the chips next to the CPU and GPU. This is because when we were removing the old thermal paste, we also cleared away the old pink thermal pads. 
If you didn't remove the thermal pads earlier, then you won't need to apply new thermal paste to the chips around it. You can just leave it blank. Step 6. Reassemble your laptop. Next, we're going to put the heatsink back in the same order we removed it. Start by threading the wires on both sides through the heatsink. Use the PH0 bit to install the heatsink in sequence. Install the four screws on both fans. Stick the tape back on the left fan, then reconnect the network card wiring and fan power. Do the same for the right side, stick the tape back on and reconnect the screen wiring and fan power cables. Finally, plug in the power cord. You can power up to check if the fans are working properly before putting the cover back on. Just reinstall the 11 screws on the cover in order. Then the job is done. Follow and subscribe to Cooling Monster and let us know which laptops to demo this process with next.